In HTML5, we also have a meter element and a progress element. So to demonstrate this, I've gone ahead and created a new HTML file with our HTML5 document structure and titled it progress.html. So let's take a look at the meter element. The meter element looks just like this, with the opening and closing meter tags. The opening meter tag can take quite a few attributes, but we'll just be looking at three of them. And these are the min attribute, the max attribute, and the value attribute. So for the minimum, I'm going to put 0. For the maximum, I'm going to put 100. And for the value, I'm going to put in 50. So you can kind of think of this as being at 50%. You can use the meter element to define a scalar measurement within a known range. So the meter tag will also take some fallback text. And we pass this in between the opening and closing meter tags. So we can just put in something like your browser does not support the meter element. So this text, your browser does not support the meter element, will be displayed in the case that the user's browser does not actually support the HTML5 meter element. Let's save this and take a look in the browser. As you can see, we have quite a nice little gauge or a meter. Now we can also use a progress element. I'm just going to put in a line break to separate these two. And the progress element is defined by the opening and closing progress tags. And just as the meter element, we can also pass in some fallback text. Your browser does not support the progress element. So now we need to pass in some attributes. So we'll pass in a value. This time we're going to make it at, let's say, 75. So a value of 75 at a maximum of 100. So you can think of this as 75%. So we can use the progress element to represent the progress or completion of a task. So let's save this and check out these new elements in the browser. So we have our meter element from before. Then we have this nice looking progress bar, which is at 75%. So it's important to note that the progress element will be displayed slightly differently depending on your platform, including your operating system and your browser. But it's quite a nice way to represent some form of progress. So I hope you've learned a little bit about the meter element and the progress element in HTML.